Yeah, Tommy, how are you getting on, man? Are you all right? Well, it's a crack day. Good stuff, man. Um, chatting last night, but let's continue on a wee bit. It's a huge domestic fight for you coming up on Saturday night. And, of course, these domestic fights can be massive for building profile and getting more people speaking about you. So it, it's really ideal. Yeah, um, I said it's a brilliant for a profile. Um, generate interest with a with a greater boxing public. Um, I'm well known in, in Irish boxing and Irish fight fans, but just to get my name out um, more on in the UK and um and global as well with the zone. So it's it's, it's a brilliant platform. Yeah, obviously, um, we know it's for the three um belts this weekend. World title fight could come for the winner, more than likely will do, and a big performance getting into something like that would be huge. Yeah, so like I said, the serious all to play for and um you know, I just have to show up on the net and make sure that um I bring my best and and show myself in the best lead. Well stuff, man, Tommy. Thanks for being here all the best. Man. Thanks, David. If we go to Jeremy Herridge's next, please. Hi, Tommy. Um, you're riding a five-fight winning streak. Um, it's been that long since you, you, you know, your your last loss. What what did you learn from from your your last defeat? It was just um, more, you know, make sure everything in the background is tight. Um, you know, going in that in that fight, um, a lot of things, you know, in in the background was wasn't the way they should be, you know, I didn't have a nutritionist on board, I didn't have strength conditioning, the coaching was kind of, you know, it just, it just wasn't tight. And, um, I just, that let me realize, even though I kind of knew that you have to, you can't get by on talent alone. Like you have to make sure all the boxes are tight. So after that, that's what it did. And, and they said, I'm on a fair fight winning streak. Uh, you know, Chris has a reputation of being a knockout puncher. I think he's got like a 76% KO rating, but he's never been 12 rounds before. Do you feel that the longer this fight goes, the more of an advantage you have? Yeah, well, I um, I feel like all the advantages are in my favor anyway. Um, Chris does have a big KO percentage, but you have to look at the opposition that he's been fighting. It hasn't been um any top quality, so... You know, and everyone at this weight, everyone can punch. So, uh, you know, every, everything's in my favor from the first bell. Compared to some of your past competition, where do you feel like Chris fits into the picture? Um, you know, he, he's there. Like, I've, I've, I've fought and beaten better opposition than him before, but you know, none of that is important. You know, you have to – every fighter is dangerous. Like I said, it's basically at the cruiser with, you know, one punch can change everything. So I just need to stay focused on him and, and not compare him to anybody else. Thank you, Tommy, and best of luck. Thanks. Thanks, Jeremy. If you go to Jonathan Nagioff next, please. Hey, Tommy, how you doing? <laughs> how you doing? Good, thanks. Um, Chris said that he believes this is going to be sort of a fan-friendly fight. Um, given both of your styles, do you feel like the styles will gel? on Saturday night, and what's your prediction? Well, I hope they don't tell too much. I hope it's one-way traffic for me. And um, my prediction, you know, I've, I'm very confident that I'm going to win this fight. So just, I'm just out there to really stick my claim for the world title. Other than sort of the world title shot, um, I know the, the gen gentleman before mentioned sort of getting your name bigger and things. How big how big is a win for yourself and and for Irish boxing and becoming that next star in Ireland? Yeah, it's, it's um you know there's been a void kind of left since since Frampton retired and um now it's the the space is there for somebody to, to become the, the premier star and I think this win will put me in that position where you know I'll become the the face of Irish boxing. Good luck, Tommy. Cheers. Thanks very much. Thanks, Jonathan. If we go to Joe from Seconds Out next, please. Hi, Tommy. How are you? Very right, Joe. Good, good. So, firstly, I want to ask, who has more to lose in this fight? 
Um, I would say me, um, because you know, um, I'm the European champion. He's only a Commonwealth. Um, and yeah, my my title is more presti- more prestigious than his. Yeah. Uh, and secondly, Shaima Vegan recently said that he believes the React Poor fight for Chris Billum Smith was a tougher fight. What are your thoughts on that? Was a tougher fight? What do you mean? Oh, like the React Poor. Yeah, Shaima believes for Chris, uh, Richard React Poor was a tougher fight than than this fight on Saturday. Um, they can, Shane can say what he wants. It don't matter. Like it's, we'll see when we get the end of the ring. Thanks for that. Cheers, mate. All right, thank you. Thank you, Joe. We'll go to Charlie Parsons next, please. You're right, Tommy, mate. Thank you for your time. No problem, Charlie. Um, Chris Billum Smith and yourself is a fight that's been spoken about for what feels like forever now. Um, how excited are you that it's now only a matter of days away from finally getting in the ring between the two of you? Yeah, I'm buzzing. Like, I can't wait till fighting it. As he says, it's been getting talked up for a long time. And um I can't wait to put it to bed. You mentioned Chris's power, um, but you said potentially it might be to do with the level of opposition that he's faced. In his last fight, he had his opponent wobbled in the mid to end rounds, but he didn't get him out of there. Does that perhaps show you anything? Is that something that you might have picked up watching that, knowing that potentially he might not be able to step on the gas and get that knockout against the higher level of fighters? You know, like I said, everyone of this with, they're all, everyone can bang. And um, Chris, like, I'm under no illusions that he obviously is a hard puncher, he's not a soft puncher. But he, um, like you say, in the last fight, he struggled. He was blown after about four rounds. So, um, yeah, I don't think his conditioning is great because he's shown that in all fights that I've watched of him, he's always blown heavy after three or four rounds. So um, this is a massive step up for Chris in terms of opp- opposition. So I'm going to show that there's, there's a gulf between where he's been and where he's at now. Nice one, Tommy. Thank you for your time, mate. Thank you. Thanks, Charlie. If you go to Ames from Box News TV, please. Ames here from Box News TV. Pleasure to speak to you. Tommy, how's life? All good, Ames. Good, good, good. You said previously, Tommy, that this wasn't a fight that was originally on your radar and one that at the time you didn't see much point in in your endeavour to win a world title. You now find yourself days away from being in the ring with Chris Billum smith Have there been any difficulties in getting up, as it were, for a fight that originally wasn't on your radar? No, not at all. Um, it's, I've been highly motivated for the fact that, you know, he's the one who was calling me out, him and his team. And now I have to show why this fight was no more at all and why I, be- I believe I belong at the world level. Okay, and if you win at the weekend, Tommy, you will send a message to the Cruiserweight division, but not only a message to the Cruiserweight division, but also a direct message to Chris's stablemate, Lawrence Okoli, who holds one of the world titles. What is the message that you send with the win? Just that I'm here. I'm ready for any one of the major champions. So one of them are going to have to defend against me. Wish you all the best at the weekend. Thank you, Tommy. Thank you very much. Thanks, Ames. If we go to the box and source next, please. The two questions. Yeah, uh, one question here for you, Tommy. Um, coming off your last fight where you're able to get a stoppage victory, um, how confident are you going into this fight against Chris uh, Bill Smith uh, that you'll be able to match his power uh, there after going off your stoppage victory? Yeah, um, like I'm a I'm a big puncher and always have been from my amateur days. I said it in my another interview that the reason why um my nuggets kind of aren't as high as what they should be. Like I'm eighteen and two. Like I, if my hand problems with all big with big punchers, you're always getting hand problems. So I've been nursing um hand injuries through a lot of fits. If my hands would stay um would stay in shape. Like, I'd be 18 wins with 18 nuggets, and I'm not even bluffing about that. I'm a, I'm a big puncher, so I think Chris Billingsmith may be overlooking my punch power, but he's in for a shock. 
All right, thank you there, Tom. Thanks. Okay, if we go to Joel Green, lastly. Hi, Tommy, are you all right? Yes, what's happening as well? Yeah, all good, thanks, mate. Um, yeah, a lot of people are saying that this weekend, this fight could be potentially fight of the night. Um, do you think that adds pressure to sort of the first show on the zone as well? On top of, you know, sort of the pressure of it being such a, a big fight between the two of you? Sorry, you, you call it a third, what are you saying? Does it add pressure? What everyone's yeah. saying? No, yeah. well, there's no pressure on me because, you know, this is the fight that Chris asked for. Him and his team were the one who's been pushing for us, so the pressure's on them. They have to come and show and prove where they wanted this fight. And I know that I'm far better. And so I'm just like, it's up to him to prove, to show why he's so confident taking this fight. And, um, you know, there's no pressure on me whatsoever. I'm very confident that I'm going to do the business. Yeah, and, and with a win this Saturday, um, how far away do you think you are from getting your world title opportunity? I think there's just one win away Saturday night and then um, that's it because you know, I'm number three with a WBA, number four with the IBF, number six with a WBC. So, you know, a win here, there's no there's no reason why I shouldn't get it cracking any of the major hints. No. Thanks for your time, Tommy, and uh, wish you all the best for Saturday, mate. Thanks very much. Take care. Yeah, see ya.